I just thought I'd have an impromptu rant here about Twitter. Um... I've been on Twitter for going on like uh, 13, 14 years now, something insane like that. I started on Twitter when I was in high school, and since being there, I've become hated in most circles, and um, infamous in certain ones, and generally, um, my tweets have been maligned and disrespected, despite the overwhelming evidence in my favor for the vast majority of them. Even just today, I posted an entirely factual Twitter thread, only to have uh, the whole thing dismissed by people who don't understand how studies work. But that's... That's just the daily frustration. Like, every morning, I wake up and I ask myself, who hates me today? It's going to be somebody on some social media site who hates me for something that day. And I'm prefacing all of this that way because... For those of you who don't know, my primary Twitter account, Insanity is Free, was suspended for a year and a half. That's a year and a half where I didn't have access to my biggest individual platform. They later unsuspended the account a year and a half later, telling me that uh, they were so sorry. For any inconvenience. And that their automated anti-spam tools had, um, had made a mistake. Whoops. We took away a year and a half of your potential income from the biggest audience you've cultivated and <laughs> gutted your reach on that account by removing you from the picture for that long, all while um, fucking up your results in our search to where, at this point, if your account is searched for anything before um, we let you back on, people won't be able to find it. Then they told a bunch of people who had reported my account that every one of their reports had been true. My account was guilty of stalking, harassment, abuse, threats of violence, and a host of other things, you know? Spam as well, of course, because the thing that they dinged me on was like, Platform manipulation and spam. Which means fucking nothing. Spam is subjective. I got told today that sharing my tweet in a screenshot form on Facebook, I got told by this little cunt named Fun that that qualifies as spam. I've been told that by a decent chunk of people that I'm spamming because I shared a thing they didn't like. That's not what spam is. Spam is when you repeatedly share the same thing to people who don't want it. And it has to be, like, direct, right? Or it's when you, like, (laughs) repeatedly and aggressively share things from a single source, usually for sales, in order to get people to buy something or something. Sharing something in many places on social media 
is not spam. But, like, the definition of spam is so subjective that people will even just lie about it and accuse me of spam when I'm not spamming. Well, Twitter eventually admitted that they basically lied. And they, they admitted that they lied for the reasons that they told me that they banned me, but they didn't admit that they lied for all the other reasons. But that admittance is tacit, because if they told all these people that I was guilty of all those rule violations, my account should be banned still. The fact that it's not means that those were lies too. Because they don't just leave up accounts who stalk, abuse, harass, intimidate, and spam people. It doesn't fucking happen. Okay? So, they lied to me personally um, about two things. That I was either platform manipulating or spamming. And they lied to so many other people about so many other things. And this is in order to ban me from a platform which I would eventually be allowed back onto. They would do that um, after a year and a half and they would admit that they were wrong. And this would all be so that I can get back on a platform where I'm regularly harassed, abused, sometimes impersonated with people actively making accounts to trick people into thinking that they're talking to me. Um, <laughs> regularly mocked by entire groups of people who seem almost devoted to the craft of mocking me. And generally uh, told a variety of unsavory and unseemly things. Um, if not outright threatened, where I've had many attempts at doxing my family and myself and harassing friends and finding out where I live. And Twitter is a massive fucking hellscape. And for the privilege of being allowed back onto an account where I did not break the rules and where I gave them a hundred thousand plus tweets of free content amassing a grand total of 17.2 thousand followers at one point I got the finger and then eventually I got an I'm so sorry we gave you the finger but we're still going to suppress your tweets in terms of visibility that tells me that the real reason I was suspended was because they didn't like something I said. Maybe a significant amount of things that I said. And this has been my theory for a while now, because they suspended me as part of a ban wave associated with the January 6th riots. That's when they did it. Even though I was vocally against those, even though I was vocally anti-Trump, his whole presidency, even though I still am, banned. Because I had the audacity to go against the mainstream narrative. That's my theory anyway. But I didn't break the rules. I didn't do shit wrong. You know? I fucking... <laughs> I, I broke no rules and they admitted it later, and I'm back. Which brings me to the subject of today, because for those of you who have been following me for a while, you remember a podcast called The Weekly Hellscape. I was doing basically a weekly version, and much longer, of Shu Wan Head's Hell World before she ever started to do it. And I planned to start that back up. And I still do. By the way, I plan to start it back up this week, this coming week. But lo and behold, I come back to check my Twitter account, 
And um, it was suspended. That's funny. I didn't get an email. I didn't get an email. I didn't get jack fucking shit. When I logged in, they didn't even tell me the reason it was suspended. It's just gone. And I can still access the account from the back end. And maybe I'll go over some of the recent tweets before it was suspended. But this is just another example. They didn't, they didn't send me anything on that. And, um, so I sent them an appeal request because obviously I did, right? And I don't think my terms were unreasonable at all because I didn't even get a fucking email telling me why my account was suspended. I don't have an email in my inbox telling me why that account, which all I did basically was share a few based tweets largely against fucking Trump, right? Um, and they banned that account despite zero rule violations and nothing they could even mention in an email. So I thought hey, that's kind of fucked up that they would do that, that they would just ban an account that didn't do anything wrong. And so I said, and this is again, you know, this happened recently. This this account was still up while I was banned from my main. So I posted this on Facebook because I'm not keen to tell um, Twitter, hey, yeah, you know how you... Uh, banned me over here? Well, you could call what I'm doing ban evasion now. And, uh, and what I said on Facebook was, uh, <laughs> I, I, I literally, and this is something I submitted to them, by the way, I literally haven't logged into this account in forever, and I didn't get an email or anything telling me it was suspended. But here it is suspended. And I haven't been told why. What rule did I break? How is this justified? Gonna need some answers here. You see an egg carton in the background. I uh, I give I give out free egg cartons. If anybody is in Spokane and you want my uh, used egg cartons or um, reusable bags, feel free to hit me up. Cause I'm one of them that are hippies who likes things that are reusable to be reused. Um. But basically. They didn't tell me why. I told them that they didn't tell me why. And is my account back? No. Nah. It's been a week since I sent that, basically. I'm irritated. I'm so fucking irritated. Because not only is Twitter an absolute fucking nightmare on a regular basis, not only is it an irrational fuckboy palace of just the worst terrible shit where you can post an accurate take and get dogpiled and where you can post an inaccurate take and get your cock sucked for 800 hours um not only is it that not only what was the majority shareholder for a significant period of time prince Awalid bin talal al saud of the House of Saud, um, the richest royal family on the planet, which is responsible for, um, you know, fueling a genocide right now and participating in a significant amount of human rights abuses. Uh, this government telling me that my tweets are out of line is fucking hilarious. And I'm not sorry for anything that I tweeted. Um, but it's a, it's an endless parade, an endless fucking parade of just nonsense coming from the official Twitter people. Like, 
they literally took a year and a half to let me back on to an account that they admitted they fucked up on. So what does that say about them? It should tell you that they don't give a fucking shit about truth, that they don't give a shit about preventing harassment or abuse or anything like that, because clearly you can just mass report somebody and their account will be gone. Doesn't need to be true. You just do it. Fuck them. Right? That's the truth. And that's the baseline fact there is that Twitter does not need to give a fuck because they're not beholden to us. They're not beholden to us and they're not going to be beholden to us when Elon Musk gets in charge. <laughs> not even if he fires 75% of the people in there like he says he will. It's not going to be on our side. And you can tell that because they're opaque and because they serve the interests of the elite. And because just like yesterday when I brought up the fact that they're propping up Bloomberg and they constantly prop up Bloomberg just like I've brought up over and fucking over that Bloomberg, a rag run by a massive wealthy elitist billionaire class and specifically a multi-tens of billionaire who was a fascist racist mayor uh, guilty of racist policies that... <laughs> he literally said you could Xerox a description and sh throw them against the wall. You know? That guy. Twitter constantly pushes that. Twitter constantly pushes the WEF. Twitter constantly pushes any anti-human agenda they fucking can. And, and those of us who are willing to go against those kinds of agendas... They find a way to get rid of us. Even if it's not now, it'll be later. And even if it's later reversed, it'll still be in the present blocked. You will not be able to find tweets from before, like, several months ago because my account was only reinstated several months ago. So there are, like, o over a decade's worth of tweets that you just won't be able to find. Many, many hours of work, tons of fucking data and information and connections and proof and questioning the narrative, and they want that gone. So it doesn't matter that what I'm doing isn't against their rules. It doesn't even matter when they later admit that it's not against their rules. They will still fucking ban people. And this time, they won't even give me an email telling me why. They won't respond to my appeal request. Hell, it wouldn't surprise me if I have to wait three years this time. Because they keep on having these ban purge waves where they ban a huge amount of accounts and then they get oopsie-doodled up to it later because I don't have a fucking legal team to expedite my case. I don't have that kind of money. Feel free to support me by the Patreon and Ko-fi links in the description or whatever. Um, you know, they, they're not going to help me. They're not going to do jack fucking shit for me. Because I'm not one of their chosen few who gets to say whatever they want regardless of factuality. They have not banned an account literally telling people to tell, to take horse medicine Horse fucking tablets for birth control. Vice, motherboard at Vice, told people to take horse pills. And they're still allowed on the platform. They haven't been banned for man uh, manipulation, misinformation, abuse, promotion of illegal activity. None of that! But I have twice. I have twice been banned for shit that doesn't break the rules and motherboard has not been banned fucking once I just think that's fucked up and that the world that that will create can only possibly be fucked up and that if we're going to do anything about this we need to really take a close look at what we're l willing to tolerate and figure out all the ways, including 
opposing Twitter and all of their stupid, evil, elitist official decisions so that we can smash the motherfucking state. <laughs>